All right. Time for week uh, five of the LET Con Rising Stars Conference. Puts me versus Shadow Stitch today. Shadow Stitch replaced one of the teams later on. We're going to set up Stealth Rock real quick. Now, what is he switching to? We'll say this about Stitch. He's taking far less time on his turns than my other opponents now L.E.T. have. Which is fine by me. It means this match will actually get done on time. <laughs> Now we got Ludicolo. Well, since I don't particularly care about Ludicolo, since he's probably going to set up his own rain dance, we'll just toxic him. I am very glad I did that Toxic now. Alright, so we're going to switch to uh, Sylveon. Just because Sylveon's Hyper Voice can get past that substitute if I want to. What does he have to switch into Sylveon's Hyper Voice? Because that's probably what's coming next. He doesn't have anything he wants to switch into that. The only one that could switch into it would be Gardevoir just because of her special tank. Or... Um... Silvali, who might be a steel type for all I know. Or poison. Either way, this hyper voice is going to hurt him a lot. Silvali. Alright, so that's probably steel or poison. Steel. But I do have a Pokemon to deal with Steel types. My only concern is that he might have a Fire type move on this thing. And I'd rather scout for that. Let's see, he only has one Pokemon that would comfortably switch into Drill Run. And that one won't really appreciate it. So we're going to go with Drill Run anyways. Hmm? 
So is he switching to the Ludicolo again? Because that Ludicolo, I would prefer if it was gone. Though clearly it's... Well, not clearly. I'm guessing it's a tank Ludicolo, because it's running Leech Seed and Substitute. Yep, here comes the Ludicolo. And now he learned that I have... Now the question is... What is he gonna do? Is he gonna go for a Scald Substitute? I definitely wouldn't have him do Substitute. Yep, here comes the Scald. And there's the burn. I was expecting that. That was clearly not a crit. He doesn't have enough for Substitute. And he gets KO'd this turn, so... So let's switch to Seismitoad and see if we can't absorb some of that Scald that's hopefully coming. Alright, so that certainly helps me a lot, and we already know that my Seismitoad's faster than him, so even if, uh, even if it lives toxic, which I don't think it does, actually it will. Oh, nope. So now I have a half health Seismitoad who's probably faster than the rest of his team. Well, I don't have anything I truly want to put in against this. And I can't use Scald anymore on it. That's alright. We're just gonna Toxic it. Oh, Moonblast. That's alright, Seismato did his job. I should be able to call mine on the Gardevoir. Okay, that was a mistake. Yeah, I don't live this. So let's give him a um, let's give him something else to KO instead. I'd rather keep Sigilyph around. But my guess is since it outsped the Sigilyph, it's probably uh It's probably Choice Scarf. Oh, swapped out to Silvali. It's gonna... Not necessarily regret that. Oh wait, yes it is. <laughs>
All right. So, Savali's going to be faster. There's no doubt in my mind about that. But what's he going to do? Is he going to straight swap or parting shot? Either way, Payback's going to get double damage. And even if he tr even if he goes for a status condition on this thing... Oh, straight swap. All right. Dang it. I was hoping not to reveal payback on something that wasn't going to die to it. Nah, he played smart on that. And now I have to eat a moon blast. He's trying to save that Savali for my Gengar, I know that. But I have got to save this Conkelder. I can't afford not to. But I really need this Guard of Orc on now that I know it's got Choice Scarf on it. I probably should have scarfed my Gengar, but that's alright. gonna wish because Sylveon should live this I wish I saw how much health Sylveon had before I did that oh well Yep. I can live with that, though. Let's just go for Mystical Fire. That's fine. I'll live with that. What Pokemon does he have left? He's got two Pokemon that are running Choice Scarf, so that I'm sure. Because I don't see any reason not to use Drake Result without Choice Scarf. And I am not wasting my Dynamax turns. Guess my question is, is can I KO this thing with G-Max? I 
I don't want to do this. I really don't. But I don't feel like I have any other option. Nah, the Choice Scarfers are probably my biggest problem with this. I prepared this team for Ferrothorn. For Ferrothorn and Rain. Not Choice Scarfing, uh, Gardevoir. Oh god! That was a very lucky miss, and I had no idea it could. It's abil is it its ability hustle then? That was very poorly timed. So I guess next comes out Lapras probably. Yep. Well, I'm already going for it. I even brought Thunder on my Gengar to prepare for rain. Which will still be useful here now that it's lightning, but still. That's going to be a lot of bulk to soak through. Hey now, that's not nice, switching the field on me. I need to get rid of the psychic field though. Because I do not need a harder hitting psychic. Unfortunately, that was Gengar's last G Max turn. So, Gardevoir being. S if Gardevoir is Choice Scarf, like I'm pretty damn sure it is, this is going to hurt a lot. The moment of truth. Oh, Psy Shock. That may or may not work in my favor. We'll have to see how much damage he can do he can do with that Psy Shock. If it doesn't KO Conkelder, uh payback will KO this thing. Yes! Alright. Finally, back in the green for the LET conference. <laughs> 